We met with the planning commission. We met with everybody. We had the, the CPA was there. Everybody, all the skill sets were there to, set, to close the deal. And so one person got greedy and blew it. And if I had it again, I would have told them, I'll take care of it. Let's get it in. Because even then, we were going to be given rights within, in, within the deal. And we had, he had already agreed to that. And, he had, and the guy told me, Michael, you wrote this up for $15 million. He said, because I want to do this and this and this and this and this, he said, I'm thinking that um, I think we're ready, we'll do this. He said, but my figure is $250 million. And I said, fine. He said, so that's what I want to do this deal with. So he said, that's when he said, and he said, and then he said, okay, and we're willing to put $5 million down. And I told later, I told the people, do you know why he was so fast to send that money? He said, you know why? Because he's got a lot of money that's going to be taxed. It needs a home. If it doesn't get a home, you don't have something to write off, you're going to be taxed. And that is why he was ready to send him this money so he could lock that money up. That was the second time I had a mega major deal go sideways because the deal prior to that, this guy was friendly with a different person who was a good old boy. And he got in there, and that deal was also big. And at the last minute, the client said, Michael, I was ready to send you, you wrote your 5000 because you owe the business plan you wrote. He said, we all love it. This guy was, this guy, just to let you know, when a guy that brought me a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't know, this guy, the people who were working for this company, who owned this company, actually, the man, he, unfortunately, the owner had died recently. Um, he had, right before, you know, like with years before he started. He was the man, it was incredible, he was the man that created the original infomercial with all the American watches every day. He was the, he said he wished he had patented it. He said, because every infomercial anybody has ever seen on TV, all of them is a piece of that with all people want to get to And he said, I was the original. And they, and they hit that. I remember that he said, hey, this is what he did. And they even showed it. And they're like, that would be before the infomercial was done. The first one was created with them. That would be like the same thing of the video of the, um, the music video, the first person to really put together the music video, the ones that go the full length of the album, the first one was Michael Jackson. That's what made him so, you know, he went, before everybody would do it just a song, and then he said, why does it have to be a song? Why can't it be a production? And why can't it be this length of time? And be this and this and this. And he said, that's what he had created. So this guy did the infomercial. We were getting ready to do this. And at the last minute, and then the people who said, but this other guy who came with you tried to block it, Michael. And he said, well, we thought he was your friend. And if he tried to block your money, then what would he do to ours? And so that deal died. And I was really, 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 really mad. That was another, like, I think that was 150. I was really pissed. Because part of that also was part of ownership of that product line, which they were going to launch globally. That, was, that had a special paint product that still is not out. It had a special patent on the formula, which once that something is painted, it will never rust again. He said even the military wanted to get their hands on that stuff. He said it will never rust again. They had a patent, they had it tied, tied down really, really tight. And uh, it was just an awesome thing. And he said and they were developing a portion where you could pour into any paint product and there, and I think they were also going to try to modify the product where if you were able to put it on wood, it will be no more peeling forever. And it was an incredible, incredible, and the durability was unbelievable. It was really, it was really a stellar product. But like, like this technology, they said, this would be like one of those hidden technologies. Like the government said, okay, we need to get our hands.